let us see now the measurement of the enthalpy change and internal energy change. See, uh, we know that if we are giving any um, uh, heat to any, any particular system uh, in an open system or in, in, general, uh, um, in the general conditions, what we find is a lot of energy is being lost to the surroundings. In that case, whatever the amount of heat is being absorbed by that particular system or body, we call it that to be the enthalpy of that particular uh, system because that, that is the amount of energy which becomes available to that system. But actually, how much of energy has been generated out? Can we find out? Yes, we can find out by taking them in a closed system. That we do, and, or, or rather, it is, it is better to say that we can find out it in an isolated system and we use this calorie meters. Calorie meters are the meters which measure the calories or the amount of energy which is being generated out. We use them in such a way, a very typical example, uh, illustration can be, there always are two vessel, uh, uh, two chambered vessels in which we place the substance, we ignite it with electricity and in the outside, in, the, in between these two uh, chambers, we have what water filled in this. Now this water is actually is continuously stirred with the use of a stirrer and we use as a thermometer here. In order to measure the temperature change in this process. So the ch temperature change can give us Q uh, is equal to M S that's the very uh, old formula into delta T. So this, this, this gives us an idea that how much of energy is being given out. In this, we all know the M is the mass of the liquid which you're having as the specific heat of water, which we all know 4.1 and 4. Uh, it's, it's the amount of energy as specific heat of water. And delta T is that how much of the temperature has increased because of the energy release. So in this pan with in the internal chamber, whenever any substance is taken and is ignited, whatever the amount of heat is being given out that is being absorbed by this calorimeter. And due to this, the increase in the temperature of the water is being noted down. And from here, we can find out this Q. Remember in this MS, we can what we can write is, is the C. It's, it's the heat capacity of the bomb calorimeter. We call it a bomb calorie meter because in this we are igniting a, a combustible substance under, under the closed conditions so it becomes bomb, almost like a bomb so we call it bomb calorie meter. And we can find out this Q as C delta T because that is going to give us the exact idea that how much the temperature is increased. So if we know the specific heat molar uh, heat capacity of uh, uh, the bomb calorie meter, we can easily find out the how much of energy has been given out. But remember since in this the volume is kept constant, this is always is equal to QV. So this is gives us this gives us the internal energy change. If we have to find out uh, value of delta H, we need to know uh, that it has to be an open system. It has to be the volume must increase in that case. We can't keep it a constant. So we use as a normal open vessel and in thus we can hang a thermometer and we can find out. So in this case, whatever the Q is, the heat is given out, that is being is equal to delta H. So this is how we can find out the values of delta H and delta U.